In computing for the confidence interval for population mean, using the t distribution, we need to make sure that the population sigma is not given and the sample size is less than 30 before we can use it. Now the new formula that I'm going to introduce in the t distribution is given by x bar plus or minus t star times s all over the square root of n. Now the difference between the z and the t distribution is this time we're using the sample standard deviation because the population standard deviation is no longer given in a problem. Now let's use this formula in finding the confidence interval for population mean in this word problem. The amount of vitamin C in a corn soy blend, blend food was measured in milligrams in eight randomly selected production. 26, 31, 23, 22, 11, 22, 14, and 31 milligrams. Now let's construct the 95% confidence interval for the population mean based on the eight samples. Now for the first step, we need to determine all the numerical values that we will need in computing for the confidence interval. And in this problem, the confidence level is at 95%. Now the sample size is 8 and the degrees of freedom is equal to 7. Now the degrees of freedom is found by subtracting 1 from your sample size of 8 and this is important in computing for the critical value of our t distribution and we will use that later on step number 3. Now the mean and the standard deviation of the sample can be found using your calculator so simply List down all the given sample, perform the one variable statistics, and you will have your x bar and your s. And in this example, we have 22.5 for the sample mean and 7.19 7 for our sample standard deviation. Now for step number two, we need to satisfy our condition. This is important in verifying if our confidence interval is reliable enough in our solution. Now, we know that the sample is randomly selected because it's stated in the problem. So that condition is satisfied. However, the normality of the population distribution is not stated in this problem. So in this case, we're going to proceed with caution because this condition is not satisfied. Now, it doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to compute for the confidence interval anymore. It's just that when we are finished with our work, we need to uh, state in our problem that normality was not satisfied in this confidence interval. Now, for step number three, that's when we find our a critical value and this time it's, we're no longer finding for the z star where you we're finding t star as our critical value because the sample size is less than 30 and the population standard deviation is not given so here the formula is 1 minus c all over 2 and we'll get 0 0.025 based on the 95 percent confidence level now to find the t star you can use the t table in the back of your book or you can use your calculator which is inverse t, parentheses, your given value from the formula, which is 0 0.025, comma, the degrees of freedom of 7. So you need your degrees of freedom when you're finding the t star in this distribution. So t star is now 2.36, which is our critical value that we need in computing for the confidence interval. Now for the fourth step, we're going to compute for the confidence interval using t distribution with a formula. Now we have the sample mean, the sample standard deviation, the sample size, and the t star. Now we're ready to compute for the two intervals or the intervals that we're going to find using the formula, which is estimating our population parameter. So 22.5 plus or minus 2.36 times your standard error, which is sample standard deviation all over the square root of their sample size which is 2.542 multiply them together and you'll have your margin of error which is 5.999 now to get your intervals simply add and subtract 5.99 or your margin of error from 22.5 which is your sample mean and it will give you 16.48 and 28.51 Therefore, in our conclusion, we are 95% confident that the true population mean still lies between 16.48 milligrams and 28.51 milligrams. However, since our conditions in normality is not satisfied, we are uncertain and we need to proceed with caution with our 
values that we found here.